You're listening to the Confidence Shift Podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Charles Gustafson. I'm a former award-winning direct sales entrepreneur who achieved everything you think you want in a business, plus a little burnout and depression on the side. But using my degree in marketing strategy, expertise in personal branding, and my creative self-development process, I healed myself by shifting my confidence, starting with how I saw myself in the mirror. Now, as a certified image consultant and international confidence coach, I run a life-changing internet business and online community showing purpose-driven female entrepreneurs, professionals, and community influencers to toss out the old dress-for-style mentality and shift into the image, mindset, success connection that crushes self-doubt and creates maximum visibility for your goals. Each episode, I share lessons, stories, and personal musings from my life as an entrepreneur, wife, and mom, all aimed at helping you see yourself differently so you can live a life filled with more intention, joy, and success. I'm glad you're here. Let's jump in. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast. I am super excited for this episode, talking about something that I think is just so crippling for women when it comes to defining their style, but also defining their confidence beyond whatever norms happen to exist. And today I'm talking about that whole endless style inspiration that comes from celebrity comparison and tips and tricks, all the things that you think really are going to help you get this look and feel of yourself together. But in the end, gives you more confusion and more frustration than anything for moving forward. What I want you to know, gals, is that you actually don't need to find style inspiration. It isn't that you need more ideas or more items or more things to put in your closet. You need solutions that are tailored and that are personal and give your power back to yourself. When it comes to dressing yourself, and for expressing yourself. Look, I totally know how you feel. You want to feel like yourself. You want to feel refreshed. You want to feel like the most confident version of yourself, that whatever's on the outside is matching on the inside. I'm totally with you because I was you. And what you may not know, and when you see Michelle, you're like, well, she's so confident. She's got it all together. I want you to know that what I do today is because I was exactly where you are and that you want that that thing to match you want your outside to be the same as the inside and for people to see you for the real you not for what they think you are and it is possible to dress in that way and to display it you just don't realize that it has to be done strategically and has to be done with information that comes from within yourself not outside yourself. Here's what happens though. In the world of worlds and especially in the world of style and fashion, it's very easy for you to look outside yourself. And guess what? We are all uh, victims of Google, (laughs) okay? I mean, if we don't know something, what do we do? We Google it. That's the first place you start. How to create style, how to wear a cute outfit, how to wear the spring outfit. And it's all there for you. There's videos, there's blogs, there's there's tips, there's tricks, there's downloads. There's everything outside yourself to tell you how you could be doing it. And if you don't get enough that you need from Google, then you go to the thing that's next down on the layers. You go to your style inspiration, whether that's a blog or a fashionista, a celebrity. And you say like, well, I feel like I'm Cameron Diaz. So let me just go look at her style and let me see what she does. And then I'll do that too. And it'll feel like myself. And then when that doesn't work, you go to the next thing, which maybe it means direct help. You know what? Listen, I just need a closet clean out. If I clean out my closet and if I organize some things around there, if I move some stuff around, then I'm going to feel like myself. And gals, you do this without knowing that these things in isolation create more of a problem than a solution. And it gets worse because the problem turns into you doubting yourself. 
These solutions, the longer you use them, actually draw you farther away from you actually being able to connect with your truest self and then to dress like your truest self. They are connected. Because when you get it right, dressing means putting things on the outside that literally speak about the best of who you are on the inside. You don't know maybe that each item you choose has values wrapped around it. And that when you can use those values wrapped around clothing in your best style, you actually create this silent reputation for yourself, a silent communication of yourself. But it starts on the inside first. And the problem is, is that when you start on the outside with the blogs, the magazines, the people, the stuff, the inspiration, is that you lose that compass that is inside you. Not only do you lose it, but you don't look to discover it because just because you're a woman doesn't mean you know how to create your own perfect style. It is a skill. And without the tools to know how to start to use the skill, you're completely lost. And then here's what I fear the most and what I see the most when my clients first start working with me or come come and work in my process is that you actually start asking yourself questions that you don't know the answers to. And that is what kills your confidence. You start asking things like, what does this look like on me? Or worse, you ask outside forces. What do you think this looks like on me? How does this look on me? You take a friend shopping. What do you guys think? Does this look good? And you start asking the outside world about who you are. And here's what I want you to know, gals. Those people are going to tell you about yourself based on who they are, their insecurities, their comparison factors, what they feel is lacking in them. It's not you. Everything will be reflected to you based on them, which means you need to know yourself. And this idea of comparing ourselves is not new. This has been studied by psychologist after psychologist about why we make comparisons and why it's so prevalent in what we do, not only just in how we dress ourselves, but in our lives. That root of comparison is a way of evaluating ourselves. It's being able to measure key things about the outside world to us, to know if there are threats, to know if we need to protect ourselves. It is innately built in our brain psychology and our cognition to do this to keep ourselves safe and assess the threats. And that's perfectly fine in the wild, but not in real life. (laughs) A better way to develop an understanding of who you are is not to compare yourself to others, but to turn inwards and focus on your best qualities, to learn to see them and express them. And then for me, to show you how to wear them on the outside. And it becomes a true inside out approach. One of the most major things I do with my clients is helping them understand that each garment you put on, each accessory you place on your body has this rainbow of values around it. That each expression of a style has a roster of values, uh, messages attached to it that can work for yourself to honor yourself, but also work for others to see you. And learning to match what you choose to wear with how you run your life gives you a massive sense of personal power and authenticity. And that is what people see. But here's the problem. When most women feel disillusioned with dressing, they do one or all common things that never addresses the disconnection of self that would give them back this power. They do retail therapy, which is they buy something new for a change because I need something different. I need to feel like a different version of myself. And usually they may ask a friend in this retail therapy, which then bleeds a whole nother thing onto their choices. They will do a closet purge. So Based on the old model of keep it, donate it, and fix it, they go through their closet taking things out without really knowing why they're excluding other than 
the utility of the item because they don't know how to address the values of the item, the emotions of the item. And the last thing most women do is they copy generic style inspiration. And it's no matter where it comes from, it comes from a blog, come from a typical fashion stylist, TV shows, tips, uh, short courses, your favorite Instagrammer, all of these generic style inspirations, you look to find the thing that looks like you without addressing why and if it is connected to you. Doing these three things actually agitates and aggravates the disconnection from yourself by encouraging you to do something with stuff instead of doing something with you. Huge difference. Huge difference. The women who are able to find true magnetic style that acts like strategy, that's a commercial for who they are, what they do, that is e consistently evolving and helping them feel like the most confident version of themselves, throw out the ideas that those three things in isolation are the things that change how they dress because those three things can't do it for you. Here's what I need you to know. You will not create new outcomes based on old, outdated, and conventional tapes. Those conventional tapes of fashion and style are old and outdated. They have to do with the stuff. The new way of thinking about how to get dressed is making getting dressed be about you first. That means there is no such thing as retail therapy. Retail therapy does not heal you. Becoming yourself heals you. And then when you become a hunter, not a gatherer, which is what I do, and I've said this from the beginning of time as I work my hue and style process, hunters aren't just about have, being a good shopper. Hunters are looking for items based on their values, not just items of the season. It's based on authentic expression, not fashion season. And... Being a hunter means you're basing it on personal evolution, not comparison. When you have those three things together, you can toss out the idea of retail therapy and you become a hunter, not a gatherer. The other thing that you have to get rid of in terms of an old model is the idea of a closet purge. A closet purge is useless on the old way of thinking. An old way of taking out things and keeping it based on items and their utility, old. And that then you add back to your closet based on items and what's cute, old. It's like losing weight, but when you've not been connected to who you are about why you're losing weight and that evolution, guess what happens? You gain it back because it's not about the stuff. It's not about the losing weight. It's about you. And when you connect yourself to the evolution, the things become tools and the result becomes permanent. The last thing we have to let go of are generic style tips. These things lead you in circle after circle, season after season, year over year, closet purge after closet purge. You cannot be reduced to a tip, lady. It is not possible. You are too complex. Your body, your color, your expression, your values. How can you possibly be boiled down into five easy ways to or five things you need for this season? It's not possible and stop believing it. Women need to understand that clothing, dressing, creating an image, making a magnetic style is about honoring yourself as yourself. If someone gives you five easy ways to, do they know who you are? Dressing is a major way you can influence how you are seen, but also how you see yourself. If you simply just copy what someone told you to do, how is that honoring yourself? And how will you ever know how to connect to yourself? I know it's a lot. I know it's probably outside the realm of what you've heard before, but that's what I'm here to do. Because in the end, what makes you your most powerful, what makes you have the most authentic expression of yourself 
is to be in complete and utter love with yourself. And then to use your clothing, how you see yourself in the mirror, to honor who you are becoming. And you may have heard the episode, it's not about the clothes. Well, it's not. Only it kind of is. It's about who you are in the clothes. And if we can get those two things matched, you can be in charge of everything that you create in your life. And don't think they aren't connected because they are. Just imagine what you could create if you were in charge of your own evolution, your own expression, and your own confidence to see yourself as someone who makes a change in her life and in the lives of others. It can be done, but only when you let go of comparison and you connect with yourself. All right, until next time, gal, we'll see you very soon. Take care for now. Thanks so much for listening, gal. I know you can tell that I believe a strategic image and a confidence mindset is something everyone who wants to make an impact needs. A shift in confidence can change your life And it's my joy to work with everyday entrepreneurs, professionals, and influencers in my signature Hue and Style Mentorship Program. You can explore about how I work with my clients and see their amazing results and breakthroughs too. It's all at hueandstyle.com. Join the community and start to see how making the image mindset success connection can create a breakthrough in your life too. Can't wait to see you there. Bye for now.